Playing games is lots of fun, and all this week I'm at AFCON. All right, welcome back to Gamma Plays. We're still at AFCON this week, and today I am sitting down with Guy Blom. Is it Blomberg? Blomberg. Let's Blomberg. go, Blomberg. Yeah. Uh, also known as Gabby. Oh man, I'm getting the Gabby before the Yug. Yeah. This is oh okay. God. Oh, so oh. this is Guy, also known as Yug, also known as Gabby, local local Pokemon enthusiast. Yes. And let's go with that. So, what's your position, uh, official position with? With with oh uh, I'm I'm no I'm Pokemon enthusiast. Let's Pokemon just go with that. No, yeah. I I run uh, PAX Australia. I'm a big content manager for Oz Comic Con, so I do conventions as well. Yes, just like you, sir. Just like me. Yes. Not not quite as big as Oh Gamma Con, but no, uh, no, uh, you're, you're little, getting there. Ours you're getting a little bit smaller. I hope one day to actually reach the Gamma Con levels for our conventions. And I just ran down a hole because I thought it was a part of the level. I w so, hold on, are you the only one playing? Do I not uh, get you to can play? play if you want? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm handing over the controller, my cherished controller. All right. So, I'm, I a, I'm a I'm an original Donkey Kong and uh, and Diddy, but like I have not played three. I don't think. So can I? I think from what I see on Facebook, everyone in the country knows you pretty much. Uh, that is, I believe, my role, my yeah. job is so, to know people. So w w tell us. I think everyone's interested to know how did you get started in this this business of ours? In this biz, uh, actually, a lot of it was very community driven stuff. So. I don't know, how do I, hold on. But I'm not actually sure what the, I think you might have to pick up the bugs and feed it to him. I think so, how, I think do, I, that's the, how do I, I think pick you, up the bug? Oh, I think if you hold the yellow button and run over it once he's on his back, I think that's the... Yellow button. I think that's, oh, I think he's, I think it's all too late. I think I think it's all gone wrong. No, no, it's all good. I do, no, I okay, know. I don't have this. <laughs> um, man, I started out uh, as, uh, my background is as a web dev designer, uh, developer, uh, and I just started a gaming website, as a lot of people want to do and this particular website became very very popular what was the website uh, i was australiangamer.com wow and oh. through that i was trying to pick it up through that i think you only got a brief window while it's on his back too. okay so yellow right i think oh. i think it's yellow yeah so from running yellow to is him? jump uh oh maybe it's red yeah oh actually green it might be green nope no nope. uh, okay, i'm gonna hand it back over to you all right and then you can learn this process and i will steal it from you yeah. Um, yeah, no, I started a gaming website called AustralianGamer.com with a friend of mine, uh, and uh, it did rather well. I mean, back then there was no localized game spot or What, what, what year are we talking here? Is oh, this early, early, uh, uh, 2004, 2005 sort of thing? Uh, maybe in 2003. Uh, but uh, yeah, round about those particular... What was the pickup button? It, it is green. It is green. You yeah. just picked up the barrel, yeah? No, you gotta, you, you gotta, yeah, run into the oh. bug while holding green and then throw it in this okay. dude's mouth. that's easy. Piece make him, make him eat it. You start me on a boss fight, man, what the hell? <laughs> I didn't of the boss. Wow. Oh, and there we go. He's, he's the done. Okay. Uh, but yeah, through this website, it actually became very, very popular. We, we did a, we were doing a, a podcast. We did uh, reviews. We had a, a staff of about uh, 12 people at its peak. Yeah. Uh, and the website itself was getting like uh, hundreds of thousands of unique people every month. Like it was doing really well. Uh, and through that, uh, I met a lot of other people in the gaming industry, uh, the gaming community, other journalists, and uh, you know, in engaged with the publishers. And, and through that, just a whole bunch of you know, crazy ideas kind of formed from uh, you know, uh, other gaming websites and gaming event websites and listings, and uh, and of course the the Mana Bar, which is another project that I started, which is a video game cocktail bar. That was with a uh, Yahtzee of uh, Zero Punctuation. No, yes. that was in Sydney first. Uh, no, or that was actually in Brisbane, Brisbane. first. Uh, in 2000 and uh, then uh, did another one in Melbourne uh, before moving to Sydney with the intention of opening up a third one uh, but didn't quite get around to it kind of got distracted with some other things other events and whatnot so yeah but uh, no I look I've bounced around uh, all around the the industry I guess in, in my time from starting the website like I, I worked at Sega Crab Assembly for a while making games for them I'm gonna take it off you yeah yeah um, which was uh, which is great fun so I've worked as a game designer a graphic designer and UI designer uh, I've done marketing I've done uh, sales and promotion and production um, I worked for a company called MCB Pacific for a while which is a uh, gaming B2B publication uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've been around, I guess, quite a bit. Yep, so and were you with Reed Pop before PEX Oz started up? Uh, no, so I was the I was their first hire actually in Australia. So Reed Pop is actually a, a global uh, company based out of uh, the States. So they run the PAXs in collaboration with Penny Arcade, but also uh, things like New York Comic Con or this weekend is actually Star Wars Celebration over in the UK. Yeah, my little brother as well. actually uh, flew to London for that, so he's there at the moment. Yeah, so it's exciting being able to be part of like these other massive of global events, do you know what I mean? Yeah, there's um, uh, a Comic Con in Beijing, I think. There next is year. Beijing, Beijing Comic Con, we do that. Uh, Shanghai Comic Con, um, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, So, what, what were you doing before you got hired for, for running PAX Australia? Oh, uh, they, they, I think they, I was approached. Um, oh, they, pro- they, they, they did, yeah. Headhunted you. Well, they were looking for, I think, other people that knew the other pe- oh damn it don't worry oh no yeah, right. I know. it's new other people whoops. in the gaming industry uh, and that's the thing people are looking after the the content and can actually pull it together and collaborate uh, and I've just through all my, my projects and things like that I just know a lot of people uh, and have been involved with uh, with many different projects so I think I kind of just got they were looking for someone that, that knew a lot of people to do panels and and things like that and content and I fit the bill so it is running PAX Australia as fun as people imagine it to be? It depends. <laughs> it's, it, yes. <laughs> it's, it's, there's a lot of work. There's a lot of work to it. I, I think a lot of people don't quite understand or appreciate uh, just how much work it actually is. Put together over 120 panels, like you think, oh, that's pretty straightforward. You just ask people to talk in a panel or you do this. But when you have to multiply it by so much, uh, it can get a bit crazy. I know. I, I'm I talk, this is difficult talking and playing the game. Yeah, it's a it's a require. Well, oh. Usually, I try and be funny, but if I'm playing, I've got no chance. I'm I'm barely funny in the best of times. Be funny. I'm playing. Come on. <laughs> um. Oh no, you put me on the spot. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so do you know? Uh, I know um, they did the the PAX East, the PAX West, or yes. PAX Prime. Yep. And then, do you know what the thought process was between like? coming to Australia for that sort of event and I think Australia was the first international expansion I think it was yes that's right so there was a uh, PAX West as it's called now although it was originally PAX Prime uh, and uh, that was the first one in Seattle in 2006 Uh, then they did PAX East on the other side of the coast because PAX Prime was obviously very uh, popular (laughs) hold on that's the safe way we don't have to worry about safety I need to save this I got this um, and then they did uh, PAX East over on the, on the East Coast in Boston, which again is a very successful one. Look out, yeah. there are bees after you. Oh, God. Oh, why? Why, why, why would I don't they... know. What have you done to the, what have you done to the bees? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know. What the hell? Quick, give us your best um, Nicolas Cage impersonation. Not the bees! <laughs> not the, not the, oh, God, not the bees! <laughs> is there much... Um, do uh, Gabe and Tycho... Uh, have much involvement in um, the running of PAX Oz? Do they give you pointers or, or tell you what they want to see? Or yeah, is it you know, like I, I talk to uh, the people at Penny Arcade like all the time, you know. Uh, Robert Koo was the, the main driving force in contact. Yeah. Uh, he's actually uh, he's actually moved on now, actually. He yeah, stopped well, uh, doing stuff over at Penny Arcade uh, very, very recently. Uh, and Mike and Jerry, yeah, I, I'm in uh, contact with them a lot. You know, a lot of what happens over at uh, PAX East and and uh, PAX West kind of dictates the uh, the content that we have here in PAX Australia. So a lot of content and panels and ideas and things that they do over there, we try and bring it over here to make sure we've kind of captured that. Oh, God damn bees. Those goddamn bees. Cops, capture that international uh, aspect to it, you know. Yeah. So have you got any uh, big surprises for us for PAX Oz this year? I could probably tell you uh, there will be some really interesting uh, youtube kind of guests that are keen to be coming over, which is going to be interesting. I that think. sounds interesting. So, uh, um, YouTubers, like uh, big popular YouTubers, I'm assuming? Uh, no, no. Small, really unpopular ones. Am, am I going to be there for... Am I going to be running like a Gamma Place panel? I don't know. Are you? Uh, Have you submitted one? No. Well, then I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Me and my 27 subscribers are, are clanging for an appearance, I think. Well, you know, I mean... <laughs> don't, don't let me hold you back, man. <laughs> Oh, goddamn bees, Those bees are man. What the hell? They're just um, not playing ball. Gee, I gotta be close to the end. We've just conged it. I've conged it. I think... 
Oh, it's extra lives. Oh, yeah, there okay. we go. Um, uh, yeah, well, I'll tell you what, we're going to have a VR free play area there this year. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know if you can hear, but right next to us at the moment is uh, the <laughs> PAX booth. Uh, what have you been playing all day? I haven't actually had a chance to... Oh, uh, look, it's, it's, it's the HTC Vive. HTC but, um, Vive. Uh, I think the most popular games uh, are probably here, the, the, Vi the Valve sound kind of thing but uh the lab obviously with the aperture science uh features in it whatnot tends to be very popular uh the blue is the underwater car level which is a, a really good and simple one for a lot of people to play uh oh, what's the space shoot um rocket oh, can't remember the name of it <laughs> there's um and Job Simulator. Job Simulator. Oh, <laughs> job man, simulator. all the kids want to play uh, Job Simulator. It's I know. In my hilarious. free time, I want to have the most accurate representation of my boring life in my free time as possible. But you would be shocked how popular that game is, yep. though, dude. Like, oh. The thing I like better than getting home from a day at the office to strap on a, a virtual reality headset and, and head back to the office. You know what? I mean, you're, <laughs> you're mocking it, but you would love Job Simulator. I would simulator. probably love it, yeah. You would. You would absolutely love it. I'm waiting for the crowd to die down, because I, I have been eyeing having to go with the Vive all weekend. It's right there, man. Why didn't you ask? It's, there's there's, it's a, right there's always a huge line. I, yeah, we'll keep up, I don't want to wait for stuff. Are you joking? Is it just HTC Vive at PAX or are you going to have uh, the other players? Uh, so our VR free play area, yeah, we will definitely have... Uh... Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, I don't know what the... Uh, I think... I think there's another rat somewhere. I think there's another rat you have to sniff out to... We will definitely have uh, a bunch of agency vibe setups, probably a bunch of Oculus, and no doubt uh, a bunch of uh, PlayStation VR as well, because that's around about the time when the PSVR gets released. Have you have you played uh, PlayStation VR? I have, I have, I've played them all. Um, I like PlayStation VR, I really do. Um, I think I think it'll probably have be it, one of the more. I think you might have to pick ones. up, try and jump on. I think you might have to fall through. Uh, okay, I don't know what you what we're doing here. Go home. Are you too good for your home? I think there's there must be a rat somewhere still. I think there is. But a I don't dirty, know. dirty rat. Where are you? Was that? Oh no, that was. I reckon that could have been it. Because I didn't kill that one before. Right. Um. Yeah, but like the, the the there'll be a whole bunch of vibe setups. I mean, for the vibe, you got to have like at least a three by three space yeah, for them. Yeah. So it takes a lot of space for it to do them. Uh, but it's totally worth it. I freaking love it. Did you? I know I've seen uh, on your Facebook here. Is that the Pax Vive, or did you purchase one yourself? Oh no, no, it's 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 a Pax Vive. So you know, I had to get it for. Uh, we do a, a uh, indie showcase competition. Uh, where indie developers can actually win a booth space at PAX itself. Now, there are a lot of submissions that were actually on the Vive, so we had to get one in order to actually play them and test them, which yeah. sounds, oh, just such, terrible, such doesn't it? Oh, work. God, had to get a... Is, is that a perk, like... People would imagine that, you know, the, the free pop offices, there's just you, like, trying out games and trying out new technologies no, all day, is, is that... This is, this, is a, this is a fallacy. This is like the idea of, oh, God, you work in games. You must play games all the time. No. No. Uh, like, even when I made games at Creative Assembly, like, you know, it was a game developer. Like, any game developer will tell you, usually when you're making games, you have less time to play them yourself. So, it's... Yeah. No. <laughs> Oh, so close. See, so you you get to fly over for like PAX, the American PAXs as well. I do, you? yeah. I went what's, to the, what's the furthest away you've ever been for a convention? Uh, well, the US. Actually. US. Uh, you know, I'm just going to put it out there. Like, uh, probably um, PAX East over in Boston would be the furthest, I would say. Are you, you probably live as close to a rock style lifestyle that anyone in the nerd industries could probably... Uh, to be, I uh, would say. Look, maybe in Australia, uh, <laughs> but in the US, uh, I, I'm not quite, not quite at that the same level as like your your Cliffy Bees and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Not quite there yet. But uh, in but Australia, you're working on sure. it. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's great. I've worked very hard over the last ten years to kind of uh, you know uh, be in this gaming industry and. and uh, and create these events and these opportunities for communities to actually get together and celebrate gaming. You know, it's it's what I do, uh, and sometimes that involves alcohol, and sometimes it doesn't, <laughs> which I'm fine with. <laughs> who's the who's the most who have you who have you met 
No, how do I phrase this question? Yeah, who's curious. the person that you've met that you've been most excited about meeting? In the gaming industry? In, the gaming, in any of your exploits around the world. Uh, okay, uh, I would say, this is really geeky actually. In Australia, I was definitely uh, <laughs> meeting a guy called Santa Scott Ludlam. Who was Santa a massive, Scott Ludlam? Yeah, which is, sounds terrible, I know, but uh, he's just a massive wow. advocate for the gaming industry. That monkey should be straight up dead. I know, right? Oh, oh. It's, it's a bird. bird in a box. Oh, you're gonna get the bananas for me. Yeah, you are. Oh, oh that, conged it. Your, your bird out, out did that. Oh, no, you lost oh, your bird. Oh, God, no. Um, but overseas, um, you know what? Actually having War Inspector down as a keynote uh, at PAX last year and, and actually just being able to hang out and spend a lot of time with him and talk to him about a bunch of stuff, that was that was wonderful. The yeah. first the keynote speaks that we get, like the first year of Ron Gilbert uh, and getting to know Ron and, and talking to him, that was fantastic. Um, I guess even before that, uh, I've, I've known uh, uh, some of the guys over at Rooster Teeth for a while, Bernie, yeah. um, I've known for many, many years. Uh, uh, and he's he's great and stayed stayed with them and um, yeah I've, I've had a lot of positive experiences in the gaming industry and I think meeting uh, certain people that have worked on certain games that uh, were defining to me in my childhood have been uh, you know fantastic and awesome opportunities oh there's freaking hedgehogs not quite as fast as some other hedgehogs but that's true. I'm doing all right here, yeah. Like yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm playing this okay. You're, you're. Yeah, you're playing it at least as good as I was playing it back. Like I haven't played this game since I was about what? Oh, actually, 12 years old, I think probably. Okay. Yeah. So I, I can't claim to be a to be the the gold standard of Diddy Kong and no Donkey Dixie, uh, it's Dixie, Dixie Kong. and uh, I can't remember the we baby can't, ones. Yeah, when we first started playing this, we couldn't remember what the baby was called. It's Dixie and. Kitty, maybe? Kitty? I think, I think that I sounds think about right. right. Yeah, Kitty Kong. Which sounds really sus now, I think. His head kind of looks, do you know the uh, turd emoji? <laughs> That's what his head looks like. That's. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, you're right. <laughs> Cannot unsee it. <laughs> Not it's a very, baby. It's a very pink tree. It's... How is this ecosystem surviving? Every tree in this forest is like hollowed out. This, oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. And it's got an infestation of like spiders with wood planks on them. Yeah, this this tree is not well. No, this is this is not a this, this is, is not a healthy tree. This is global warming. Yeah. Anyone who says that global warming and, and climate change is has just obviously a myth. never played Donkey Kong yeah, 3. Yeah, he's not really in the right place. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, bye. Oh. Careful, it's a very. Uh, yeah. It's a stylish right. hedgehog, though. After this level, you have to I'll, call I'm it quits. Done. Yeah, I gotta call it quits. Oh, you've uh, missed an O somewhere. You haven't done your O's. I haven't conged it. That's alright, that's okay. It's not critical. I don't know, we, I think we're gonna try and play with some other people later, so depending on their skill level, we might end up looking back at this moment and saying, why didn't we get that? <laughs> I think we're going to try to play with Will later from former AFCON convener. I think he, he's terrible yes. at video games. So Oh, he's terrible at video he's games. He's terrible. I'll get him to play, yeah. Always fun watching people who are terrible at video games play a... Oh, God damn it! I mean, uh, yeah. We, were, we played with uh, Ray from Smash earlier. I just didn't let him play because I knew it was just not going to be a, a fun time. Nailed it. Nailed it. All right, buddy. I got right, well, to make a move. Thanks very much for talking with us. Thank you very much. Take it easy. I will see you around. Around, I'm sure. <laughs> are we? Are we? Are you after partying tonight? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Great. Let's drink. All right. All right. See everyone tomorrow.